Last year, in order to provide social justice, Supreme Court of India scrapped Section 377 and decriminalized gay sex in India. Ever since the landmark judgment was delivered, the discussion about the rights of LGBT community is still going on. So this time, our senior assistant editor Aprajita Gupta went out to find out about the financial rights of the LGBTQ community. To talk more about in detail, we are joined in by her. So thanks Aprajita, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So Aprajita, firstly, I would like to start off with the question that how this interesting idea popped up in your head, like you will do this story. Uh, well, so I have a lot of friends from the LGBTQ community whom I have seen facing problems regarding their financial rights. And also if you see a bit of Netflix and some other Hollywood movies, the idea will crop up in your head that in, in the West, people actually in the LGBTQ community, they have rights, financial rights. So when a person is getting, when two people from the same commu gay community is getting married, so they have financial rights, even if they're getting divorced, they have certain rights. But in India, we don't see all these things and we don't even understand it. So that was the sole idea of doing the story. And what difference you realize in terms of the financial rights bestowed upon the LGBT community in comparison to other people? There's a lot of difference actually. So uh, when we talk about people who are heterosexual, when they get married and they have uh, financial rights, they can make a float a family insurance policy, they can, they have, sp they have spousal rights, they can do joint bank accounts, they can have, uh, it, it is automatic that after marriage, if something happens to one spouse, the other spouse gets all the property and everything. But such things do not happen in LGBTQ community because in India, we still don't recognize gay marriage. And uh, if someone from LGBTQ community wants to open a joint bank account or want to buy an insurance policy, what the difference you see and are they at par with other people? No, they are not at par with other people till date. So they face a lot of difficulties. They can't open a joint bank account like two people can, but not as spouse, of course. And insurance policy, they don't, they are not covered in, covered in insurance policies in family insurance policies as spouse because legally they are not accepted as married couple. So is there, uh, you must have uh, talked to many people across uh, different organizations. So is there any scope that these uh, lacuna or these loopholes will get eradicated in future? So that will of course depend on Indian law, whether in the coming days India accepts uh, gay marriages or not. But so far there is nothing but gay people, they are fighting for their rights. They are trying to make that happen and we hope that will happen someday. But so far since they don't have any rights, all the experts, financial experts, they, uh, they have the advice for the gay community that you should you know, save a lot. And if you want your partner to inherit your uh, stuff, then you have to make a proper will. Otherwise, you know, once there's a person uh, uh, dies, the entire family of that person uh, comes and tries to grab the property. Mm. The partner doesn't get anything. So uh, there's a whole lot of problem, which we don't talk about. We only talk about uh, Section 377. But S Section 377 was a big win for them, but that's just the beginning. They still have a lot of things to do. So what are your various findings after doing this story? As I told you, whatever, you know, so it's not an easy journey for them. So it is still a long way to go and financial rights, uh, forget about having financial rights. Even gay people are not looked upon nicely in many organizations. So there are very few organizations that provide them with uh, financial rights. Like in, uh, I've heard about one particular IT company. So they provide their uh, gay uh, employees the insurance policy which covers their spouses. That doesn't happen everywhere. Mm -hmm. So things are not very smooth for them at all. Thanks Aprajita, thanks for talking to us. Thank you so much. So that was all for today's discussion. We will be back with a yet another enriching and interesting discussion next week. Till then, stay tuned to Outlook Money.